Okay, so after you've done it that, this is how it looks like. So now in our 15th row, uh, we're going to do three single crochet, then decrease and repeat all around uh, for a total of 24 stitches. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet. One, two, three, and then decrease. And then we're going to keep repeating that. So three single crochet. And then decrease. Okay, so keep repeating that all the way to the end. Okay, so after you've done it that, now for the next two rows, which is row 16 and 17, we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 24 stitches in each row. Okay, so I'll see you when you're done with the 17th row so that we start the 18th row together. Okay, so after we're done with that, now in our 18th row, we're going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat all around for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do two single crochet and decrease and then we're going to keep repeating that so two single crochet and decrease Okay, so keep repeating that all the way to the end. Okay, so now after that, uh, in our 19th row, which is our last row, we're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. Okay, so after you're done with that, you're just going to cut off your yarn and then we're going to start doing the hands. Okay, so you're going to do single crochet, single crochet, Okay, so and repeat all the way around and then after that we're going to start doing the hands Okay, so when you get to the end, we're just going to go into the next stitch and slip stitch Then we're going to cut yarn long enough for sewing Okay, so now uh, after that we're going to make the bottom here of the sweater and what we're going to do is We are going to take the red yarn and attach it to one of the stitches and like that okay and then we're going to do a chain one Okay, and then after that now to make the sweater ends uh, we're going to do double crochet all the way around okay so I'm going to go into the next stitch so remember this is where we did uh, in the back loops only the loops that are protruding that's where you're going to do your double crochets okay so I'm going to go into the next loop and do double crochet okay and then you're going to continue like that doing double crochet okay so you're going to continue doing double crochet all the way around until the end and then when you get here you're just going to cut off your yarn and then we're just uh, going to start making the hands okay so now for the hands we're going to start with the magic ring and six single crochet into the magic ring I already did that so in the second row we are going to increase every stitch all the way around for a total of 12 stitches 
so I'm going to go into the next stitch and do two single crochet or increase and increase also in the next stitch okay so continue increasing all the way round okay so after you're done with that now for the next uh, two rows which is row three and row four we're going to do single crochet all the way round in each row for a total of 12 stitches in each row so I'll see you when you're done with the fourth row so that we start the fifth row together okay so now in our fifth row we are going to start by doing three single crochets first so we're going to do single crochet one two and three okay and then after that we're going to decrease three times so we're going to decrease the first time okay decrease again the second time okay and decrease also the third time Okay, and then after that in the remaining three stitches we're going to do single crochet in each stitch so we're going to do single crochet single crochet and single crochet okay so and then after we're done with that now we're going to change into the red uh, color yarn so I'm just going to cut Okay, so you can attach your yarn uh, in whichever way you want you can just do a slip stitch and uh, to attach it or you can do an invisible attachment but in my case I'm just going to tie it over here just a little knot and then I'm going to put this one on the inside okay so after you attach the red yarn now we're going to start our uh, row six by doing single crochet all the way around but in the back loops only okay so I'm going to go into the next stitch and do single crochet in the back loop only and also go into the next back loop and do single crochet okay then you're going to continue like that all the way around until you get to the end back loop okay so continue like that all the way round okay so now after you're done with that now for the next seven rows which is from row seven until row 13 uh, we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of eight uh, nine single crochets in each row okay so do single crochet for the next uh, seven rows and your arm is gonna look something like this so this is what I did and then when you're done just cut off the yarn and leave long enough for sewing and then after that I'll show you how to make the leg so now for the leg uh, we're going to start with the magic ring and eight single crochet into the magic ring so instead of doing six single crochet for the leg we're going to do eight single crochet into the magic ring so I already did that so after that in the second row we're going to increase in every stitch for a total of 16 stitches in the second row okay so we're going to go into the next stitch and increase Okay, then increase in the next stitch two okay increase okay so you're going to keep increasing all the way to the end okay so after you're done with that now 
for the next three rows which is from row three until row five we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of uh, 16 stitches in each row so do single crochet for the next row uh, for the next uh, three rows and then I'll see you when you're done with the fifth row okay so after you're done with the fifth row now for the sixth row uh, we're going to start by doing uh, four single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one two three and four okay and then we're going to decrease four times so we're going to decrease the first time okay then decrease again okay and then decrease again the third time and decrease the fourth time okay and then after that in the remaining four stitches we're going to do single crochet in each stitch so we're going to do single crochet single crochet okay until the end okay and then after you're done with that now for the next seven rows which is from row seven until row 13 you're going to do single crochet in each row all the way around for a total of 12 stitches in each row so i'll see you when you're done with the 13th row so that we do the 14th row together which is the last row okay so after the 14th row this is how our leg looks like so as you can see i've already stuffed my leg so you should stuff yours too so now in the last row uh, which is the 14th row we're going to decrease all the way around for a total of six stitches so we're going to do decrease and decrease Okay, so decrease all the way to the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, now I'm going to go into the next stitch and slip stitch like that. And then you're going to cut your yarn long enough for sewing. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make the ears. Okay, so the ear is quite simple. So I'm just going to explain to you how to make it. So first we're going to st you start with the magic ring and six single crochet into the magic ring and then after that just like the way we did in the previous uh, project uh, you increase in the second row in every stitch for a total of 12 stitches in the second row and then after that uh, for the next three rows one two three which is row three four and five you do single crochet in each row for a total of 12 stitches in each row so and then after that you just cut off your yarn and uh, you leave it long enough for sewing okay so and then after that now I'm going to show you how to make the hat okay so for the hat uh, we're going to start with the red yarn and we're going to start with the magic ring and six single crochets into the magic ring in the first row so now for the second row we're going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches okay so i'm just going to go into the next stitch and do an increase okay and then also increase in the next stitch okay so continue increasing all the way around okay so after that now in our third row 
uh, we're going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch and then we're going to keep repeating that so single crochet and increase okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way to the end okay so after that now in our fourth row uh, we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then increase in the next stitch okay and then repeat that again two single crochet and increase okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way around okay so after you're done with that now uh, in our fifth row we're going to do three single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 30 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet one two three and increase and then you're going to keep repeating that Okay, so three single crochet and increase. Okay, so repeat that all the way to the end. Okay, so now after you're done with that, now for the next six rows, which is from row six until row eleven. You're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 30 stitches in each row okay so i'll see you when you're done with the 11th row so that we do i show you how to do the 12th and 13th row okay so guys after i'm done with the uh, 11th row this is how it looks like so the 11th row is up to here so after you're done with the 11th row now you're going to attach the white yarn and you're just going to continue doing single crochet all the way around for the next two rows which is row 12 and 13 so all of them even the white rows have 30 stitches okay and then over here i attach the little pom-pom over here to make it look cute okay and that's it so after that i'm just going to explain how to attach all the parts together Okay, so guys, as you can see, I've already finished attaching all the parts together. So uh, it's quite easy attaching all the parts. So what you do is you make sure the ears, the, the hands and the legs are all in line together. Same as uh, the other side. So for my eyes, I use these little buttons because I don't have the safety eyes. So that's what I did. And for the hat, I attached it here between the uh, between the ears so that's where I thought it looked cute uh, there or you can just leave it unattached or you can attach it to the side so according to the way you want it to look like and also I embroidered the little nose over here okay and that's it guys so I hope you enjoyed this pattern so if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and also check out my other videos until next time Bye.